traders. So uh, uh, once again, traders, uh, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's great to have you here and thank you very much for uh, being on time. One thing I promise to do over the next 90 minutes or so is to give you massive value because time we cannot replace. And I think we get a little sick of seeing some of the articles written or, or YouTube videos where just full of false promises when it comes to mastering the art of day trading. So I'm going to be sharing a whole lot of uh, strategies and ideas with you today. So please, if I can have your attention now, if you do need to log off early, uh, it is being recorded. And I uh, get a uh, Roberto. Uh, so it is being recorded and traders, uh, you will find that in the download uh, links to join my program. So I just thought I'd mention that up front. I'd love you to come and join me. And I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with me, my entire program from only $99 for a month. So you can get in and see whether day trading is for you. Because as you're about to discover, if it's any good, I probably know about it. And you'll see uh, why I can make such a great claim uh, in a moment. So let me quickly get stuck into some of these slides. So as promised, we're going to go to the live charts. We're going to look for some live trades as well. Most importantly, I'm going to explain to you the logic behind the trades. Because one thing, I'm a researcher and what's important for me as a researcher, on what basis does this work? What's the, uh, the rationale behind it. And that's what you need to know when it comes to trading. Because if someone's saying to you, I've got a fantastic trading strategy. Okay, great. All right. What's it based upon? So we'll be looking at that. So traders, as we also know, there is a risk in trading. Do not trade with money that you can't afford to lose. And that's one of the beautiful parts about trading today is that you can start on the simulator. You can trade as long as you like on the simulator before you go live. And uh, we'll be looking at the micros. We'll also have a quick look at gold. We'll look at the Texas T, the black oil as well. We'll just have a quick look at the charts. I want to point a few things out with those particular markets, which they're fantastic by the way. Um, but nearly all of these now, we've got micros and the majority of my members start on micro accounts where you only really need $500 to $1,000 to get underway. Even if you have $500,000 right now, start small and build from there. So don't trade with money you can't afford to lose and start on the simulator. So who is this masterclass for? Well, if you're seeking a part-time or full-time income, if you're new to trading or a struggling trader, or perhaps you're already an experienced trader that you wish to increase your bottom line. Over 70% of my members, I've now got over 10,000 members, uh, are experienced traders. And I'll show you some of their work uh, and some of the things they've sent in for other members uh, shortly. We'll get to that as well. So look, there's a ton of things I want to cover. I don't want to spend too much time and drilling down on all of these individual points, but a couple of really important things. I'm going to be showing you my $500 to $2,000 blueprint and how you get there. Where you start with a small account, um, uh, how you easily identify uh, market direction. We're going to be talking about pivot levels and pivot magnets. Very, very important. And if there is such a thing as a secret when it comes to trading, well, trading pivots, open, high, low and closes, and uh, even the magic EMAs may not be so much a secret when it comes to professional traders. But unfortunately, the majority of newer traders don't understand them. They're very simple, easy, but they're critical to your trading as you're going to see. So there's a whole lot of things there that we're going to go through. And when we get to the charts, I'm going to be talking to you about where we enter the trade and why we enter it where we enter, where we put our stop loss and where we take our profit. Okay, that's also very important. Now, a couple of the secrets that we will be talking about, if I can call them secrets and, and uh, you know, look, I can't remember who said it, but they said, always beware of the man that tells you that he's manufacturing antiques, right? Gann famously said, there's nothing new under the sun, and it's probably true. 
but a lot of these, uh, like uh, we look at floor pivots or the prior days open high, low and close, and even the major EMAs, and you'll see an example just popped just a few minutes ago, uh, a trade just popped off one. Um, these are what we call predictive indicators. That is, so many traders believe in them that they become predictive. And when we're selling or buying into these areas, they become, I don't want to say a guaranteed trade, but they're, as you're going to see, they're a good 85 to 90% trade. And I'm going to be showing you a number of the world's best day trading strategies. How do I know they're the best? You'll see in a moment. Now, why should you listen to me? And I just, this, I don't want to do a big plug, but this is important. I've been in this business now for 27 years. I've been in a fortunate position where I've been able to employ full-time traders to trade my account, consultants, CTAs. I've been able to purchase just, you name it, I've probably gone out there and purchased it. When I started out 27 years ago, okay, I used to have uh, brown hair. I'm a little grayer now. Okay, but this is my passion and this is the very reason why you should be listening to me. Now, uh, yes, Roberto, a self-fulfilling prophecy, absolutely, nailed it on the head. Now traders, when I started out, I was a business owner. I was actually involved in construction many years ago down in Melbourne, Australia. And back then, uh, uh, I used to have a lot of issues. We used to have um, the Builders Federation Union. They would ring me up at two o'clock in the morning because a worker complained. I'm serious, it was harassment. They actually ended up having a Royal Commission into it. But anyway, I wanted to get out of that business. I didn't want stock, I didn't want employees, all of the issues. And I used to do uh, underpinning, by the way. That's where you tunnel under big buildings we are say they're about to build another multi-story next to a building. I'd have to underpin city buildings. I had a house removal business, all of that sort of thing. Very wet, muddy stuff and all interesting workers. I had to, I just wanted to get out. For me, trading was that answer. Now, fortunately traders, uh, when I was 22, I'm 62 now, by the way, um, don't feel it. <laughs> Hopefully I don't look it, but I'm 62. So going back 40 years ago, I attended a, uh, a seminar in Melbourne, Australia, um, put on by uh, John Grindler, who's one of the uh, NLP, founders of NLP. And that made a really change my life just on thinking. And what I discovered was that success leaves clues. And Tony Robbins is a huge NLP and that's really what got him underway. And what I discovered was if you want to be great at something, find out others that are great in your industry and model them. And that was really the secret to my success. So over a period of years, um, I had the money to do this. I went out there and just started investing. Some of you know about my bat cave and about my trading floor. I won't go into that today, but I just went out there and bought just about everything that's available. Okay, and so what I, I just so passionate about this. So I've probably got one of the largest libraries in the industry and, and there's a little secret how I cheated there. I actually bought a software business that was involved in stock market software and they had a traders library where they would lend books to their traders. So I bought that business. And so uh, I ended up with this massive library, but then uh, what come from that was research. And where I was able to, if I can say cheat, uh, I was able to employ staff to start to put together some of these research reports, investigating trading systems and strategies um, uh, over many, many years. And one thing I've discovered about trading, it's a, you never stop learning. You've got to be a student of the markets. I've now got over 60 notebooks of R&D research. What's that got to do with you? Well, traders, I can show you stuff there that'll save you years and years of work and a small fortune along the way. Now, when it comes to trading strategies and indicators, 
This is a list of them just on TradeStation. And this is just the A's and B's. I have hundreds of them. I've gone out there and spent a fortune in trading systems, strategies, etc. Okay, um, uh, here, Bill Williams. Now going back, I think it was back in seven, no, it was 90 anyway, it doesn't matter. I went and bought his course, Profitunities course, but I was really interested in the concept of fractals, fractals and nature. And Steve Geljard was a researcher working for me on salary. And we did a huge amount of work on back testing and coming up with trading systems when it comes to trading fractals and fractal trend line breaks. And if you go and look at Tom DeMarc's book, uh, Tom's a, a very well-known funds manager. He's written a couple of excellent uh, books there. He's even um, uh, got a trademark on a trend line system. And in my opinion, all they are is fractal breaks. But anyway, we came up with a great system for trading fractal breaks um, on any great trendy market. We have got a methodology for doing that. But this is only one of many. And so what I've discovered over the years, traders, there are many trading systems and strategies. There's probably, you know, I've probably come across at least one or 200 traders that really do work, but it's not the system that usually lets us down. It's the individual. And um, Ricardo, one of my members, um, you'll probably see an email from him, I'll flash it up. I think it's in this PowerPoint. Uh, he said, if only we could learn to trade like monkeys. <laughs> Those were his words. I then, uh, going back 12, 13 years ago, I then employed John Shearley, who had written this excellent book, Energy Trading. Um, and the whole idea then was, was I wanted to build and get involved in funds management. And after the trading systems that I come up with, they were really robust. But one thing also, I was not a programmer where John was unbelievable when it come to coding uh, things in TradeStation. And so TradeStation, I've been with over 20 years. Only the last 12 months, I've moved over to NinjaTrader, an excellent program by, uh, platform, by the way. But the amount of research that we put into uh, the Forex industry, into trading, uh, futures and stocks and um, you know as I said there are literally dozens of strategies that work. Here we've got here trading tops and bottoms uh, where we had a 74% win ratio uh, on a special way of trading tops and bottoms and trading divergence using the MACD Platinum Indicator which is the indicator you'll see on my charts. Uh, and the MACD I'll tell you what it is, it's a, simply a zero lag. Uh, MACD, just a very sensitive MACD indicator. And of course you can use a CCI and an RSI and lots of other indicators, but we found it um, just very unique in a couple of ways. So I got so excited about the potential of the strategies. Um, uh, back in 2011, I bought um, wetradeforyou.com. Okay, uh, so I paid 8,000 for that on the basis I was really thinking, I'm gonna get in funds management and have a bunch of traders trading these on behalf of our clients. And please note, I'm not a licensed funds manager or a CTA. It's not a solicitation for funds here, okay? Just giving you some, some background here. And so this is why you should be listening and staying around for the next couple of hours because I'm gonna show you what I've discovered over that period of time. Now. With every new trader, what we're now going to do, we're gonna start by looking at what truly is reasonably possible as a trader, not unrealistic, what's realistic in achieving. If you start out, say, so if you've got a five to $10,000 account or even a micro account, we'll look at that and we'll look at the various options that we've got. Now, the first one is, Let's set some realistic goals. And this is where so many traders make the mistake of setting unrealistic goals, where they're going to risk 5% of their capital and all sorts of crazy things like this. So let's have a look at a couple of things here. So first of all, by putting your goals in writing, there, there truly is a science behind mastering the art of day trading. 
you've all probably heard of the drug dopamine. And so in my studies over the years, what I've discovered and through Dr. Andrew Huberman is that when we have goals, when we tick off what we're doing on a daily basis, it, it, it's actually, it's known as the love drug, by the way, dopamine. We get a shot of this. Now, some of you may be thinking, oh, shivers, come on, just get on with it. But traders, don't underestimate this because this is important that we've got the right mental state. So how do we make money? First of all, we've got to change our mindset. We've got to get rich slowly, okay? We start by building our confidence and our competence. And that's why you hear me talk about regularly to start on micros. Now, what would an extra five grand a week to you mean? Well, for most people, that would be a life changer. How do we do that? It's only 100 dollars a day per contract on or 200 on five lots so i'm going to be showing you a couple of live trades i've already fired off just before and there was just a couple we've just missed then but uh the strategy is called the 2b we'll look at a range of different setups and it doesn't matter which market you're trading whether it be futures forex or stocks all of these strategies will work um, uh, and this is Raymond, who's in my live trading rooms. Uh, you know, these strategies kick butt because of a logic. Now, what's important is that, and all of these tools I have on spreadsheet for all of my members, okay? So everything I show you here, members have actually get all of these spreadsheets. So what's important is that if you're going to say trade the ES, and if you're trading, say, a four tick green cone, and it doesn't matter whether it's a, a tick chart or, or volume, you can use any type of chart. We stay within the 2% rule. We never ever risk more than 2%, which means the higher the time frame, the larger the stop loss, the larger the account you require. Yes, your broker will tell you you've only got a, you only need $500 for your intraday account, but remember, if you've got a risk of $175, right, you wipe it off in no time. And this is where you, you must start capitalizing. Now, what if you don't have around 9,000? It's easy, you start on the micros and you build from there. And I will show you how to do that in a few minutes. Now, what this means is this. So if you start with $4,000 and you go for only $100 a day, 100, Okay, you have the potential there of earning 10 grand a week, potentially in 30 weeks. And how this works is that you only start trading an, addition, an additional contract when you double your initial capital. So if you're earning 500 a week, you don't start trading two contracts until you double your money. Extremely conservative. Doesn't matter whether you're trading CL or the ES, it's a couple of trades a day. And I want you to remember the word to be, you want to be trading the to be. Now you start going for 150 a day, which is realistic on this account. You're there in 18 weeks. Uh, get up there to 200, which we'll be looking at closely in a moment. Excuse me, one sec. Get up there to 200. You're there in 12 weeks. And realistically, this is sort of, you're starting to max out. Now I know some traders will say, well, look, yep, I know you can earn six, 700 a day on CL, on oil or on the ES. You're, you're right, but then you need more capital as well. Okay, so here, that's sort of about the maximum uh, I would recommend, but look, look at your income potential. Okay, it's massive, but greed is what kills traders. Now on the micros, getting back to uh, what Raymond had to say here, uh, when he discovered about the micros uh, just early this year, as he said, it basically changed his whole trading pattern. So let's look at this. If you're struggling with the belief, and when we get to the charts that you really can do this, you only need to be earning 10 to $50 a day. That's all you need to get very, as you're going to see, very wealthy. And then you still only double or start trading an additional contract every time you double your money. 
it's a story you tell yourself that you can't do this. As Linda Rasky said, would tell you, um, this is not about intellect. This is really about patience and discipline. So let's look at this. So here in my live room, I'm showing members how to go up there and get, and you can see there my name. So it's not, this is real accounts. So, and you may look at this and say $63. Well, that's usually over 90 minutes trading one lot in front of the members, teaching other members how to trade micros. But I'm gonna show you what $50 a day does in a moment, 92 in an hour and a half. You know, the potential here is enormous, but the problem is everyone wants to get rich quick. They're not willing to put the time in to cut their teeth and to develop competence and confidence. So here, you start off with 1,000 and you go for just $50 a day. Look where you are in 18 weeks, 10 Gs a week. But the challenge is, Everyone wants to do it within a couple of weeks. You know, it's really interesting. People go and work at a job and uh, retire after 30 years broke, yet they expect to get rich day trading in a couple of months. It's such a shame. Now, down here, we can go to the micro ES and, and some of the, the major markets you can trade besides Forex with the micros, uh, uh, oil, ES, uh, gold even, gold's not great on the micro, on the small account, because it's fairly what we call thinly traded, but you've got the NQ now, you've got the Dow, you've got um, the Russell. So you can start on all of these markets. Now here, what if you only had 700 and you went for just $20 a day? Now we're only up $15 on these three little trades, but I want to show you something here when it comes to scalping. We should be up over 20, but I want to show you that when we get to the charts in a moment. So what if it's only $10 a day? So say if you came to me as a new trader and you said, look, I'm really, or either you've decimated your account a few times and let's go for just $10 a day. So if you go for, uh, to $10 a day, it's going to take you 32 weeks to go from 700 to 4,000, okay, over here if you only net $10 a day before you go to the big account. Then it's gonna be on only 100 a day, you're there in another 30 weeks. This is what it means to you. In 62 weeks, you've got the potential of being up there at 10 Gs a week. Now, take away a few weeks off, six, that's only 16 months. And you started off with what? $700. This is the true potential, but traders want to do it all overnight. You know, and it, it's what kills them. Now, what if you like the currency futures? I love the currency futures, which basically is modeling the uh, Forex market. Okay, uh, you've got the 6A, the Euro, uh, the Yen's great, and the Pound. They're sort of your four major ones. But you can see there with a $2,000 account, they're there in 15 weeks, if that's your goal. And what I tend to find is we all have different objectives when it comes to trading. So how do we achieve this? How are we realistically going to hit these targets? Well, number one, we've got to follow what we call the Goldilocks rule. Remember, what I teach you is science-based and fact-based, okay? How do we learn something? The Goldilocks rule means this, not too hard, not too easy, just right. We, you all have different learning abilities, experience levels, ages, for an example. Some middle-aged people may feel, find it a little overwhelming or someone brand new to trading might, might find it initial overwhelm. So you start off taking it really easy. And what that means is we start with only one strategy and we build from there. And you'll see in a moment why that's important. Another thing, besides starting off with one strategy, instead of trying to trade divergence and three or four breakout type trades, et cetera, you've got to be, you've got to start by trend trading only. No trend, no trade. One of the most important things you need to master in this business is discipline 
and patience and ban yourself from counter trend trading. When it comes to counter trend trading, it's so easy to look back on a chart and say, wow, there's a great reversal point and so on and so forth. Um, now hindsight's a wonderful thing. That's the very reason you must ban yourself. Um, uh, take your time and master trading with the trend. The other thing you've got to do when it comes to mastering out of day trading is trade only strategies that are pattern based. And when we trade patterns, such as the 34B, the 2B, and virtually every strategy I teach you, they're all based on a pattern. And why? Because we recognize patterns. And there's so much evidence when it comes to that supporting this as well. In the excellent book, The Discipline Trader by Mark Douglas, unfortunately Mark passed a few years ago now, but he wrote two excellent books. If you don't have them, they are must haves. And what he says there in the book, The Discipline Trader, to become an expert, choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern, preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical. So you'll be working with a visual representation of market behavior. What he says down here is also very important. In the meantime, it's important to avoid all other possibilities and information. And there's a reason for that traders. It's called information overload. And that tends to stop us from learning, but you focus on one thing. Now, my strategies I've mentioned, you can apply to any type of chart. If you're a new trader, uh, Renko is really the way to go for a brand new trader. I use both Renko and Tick. And if I remember, I'll show you, I've got to actually set up a hard chart. And in fact, let me just show you this now. So I mentioned uh, one great thing about um, my membership base is a lot of them will send in and they share with other members what they're doing and how they do it, okay, using my strategies. And they might say, well, look, this is how I've now taken Ray's idea and this is how I trade it, et cetera. So this is uh, April, who's one of my members. She's in both my live trading rooms and the coaching. Um, she's created and she just trades and prefers to trade the HA chart. Then we've got another member here called um, France. Now, France is from South Africa, is a relatively new trader. Uh, that's right, Roberto, laser focused. And so uh, traders, I'm not showing you these for a big sell. This is important you see this. Now, what, what he's, he calls uh, my setups here, the Big Dipper, and he's created a whole lot of screenshots um, uh, using my patterns and why they work and how he trades them, okay? And so this is the sort of information or the research that you get provided, um, not only by me, but by my members. And as he'll say in a slide, I'll show you, you easily achieve $50 a day or 500 a day per contract just trading this setup. It's a reversal setup. That is a pattern that we see each and every day. Uh, yes, Jerry, you can use MT4. Yes, you can, absolutely. Um, Jerry, so uh, I'll show you a setup. You're gonna see what I call um, a chart overlay. I don't know if you can do that on MT4, but it doesn't matter, okay? Um, uh, and yes, uh, Gene, I am recording this as well. So this is being recorded as well, yes. So. Traders, um, uh, members will put their own spin on things. Oh, and to show you one more, and this one is so important. This is a T28. You'll hear me talk regularly about the pivot magnet trade. The PM trade, uh, Ali's a professor, and uh, he's been a member, I don't know, might, might be for four or five years. It's quite some time now. Uh, maybe it's not that long, I can't remember now. But anyway, he called my pivot magnet trader T28. And as he said, he's, he's, he's got a 90% win rate and he's now trading this live now and he's getting an 85 to 90% um, uh, win rate. Now, why is this important? 
It's a mechanical rules-based trade that's pattern-based. And every man and his dog who is taught the rules and the pattern, which is, wow, it's that straightforward because it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Trading the pivot magnet trades. You could just trade those alone. Now, realistically, you might only get three a day, but you can trade a number of markets using um, pivot magnet trades. It's a trend following strategy that kicks butt. We do a lot of work on, on pivot magnets. So traders, it's just not what I've got to say, it's what other members are doing here. So chart types, you can apply this to any chart. Now, how do we average an 80, uh, sorry, well, usually it's above 80, but say, how do you get to a 75% plus winning trades? You know, and as I say here, why make trading harder it's gotta be? Trade with the trend, buy the dips, sell the rallies. Now I know some of you here are already very experienced traders, but if, why aren't you then perhaps, and please, this is not meant to insult anyone, but if you're not where you are with the trading, it's usually because we're not doing everything right. And buying the dips and selling the rallies, waiting for retracement, waiting for a pullback, but not buying the breakouts. There are other easier ways. Um, uh, yes, I will be, uh, Bev, welcome by the way. Yes, I will be sending out that uh, a replay as well. So. Traders, there's a ton of great books um, written on Michael Cover's book, Trend Following, How Great Traders Make Millions in Up or Down Markets. Uh, this is also excellent. Steve, uh, Robert Miner's book there, High Probability Trading Strategies. And like Robert highlights in his book exactly this as well. We trade using two time frames as a minimum. You're welcome. We look at trading with the trend. That is, we use a entry chart, a lower time frame. We wait for a retracement and then we trade in the direction of the higher time frame. That's what makes this so logical. On a smaller time frame, you have a retracement, a pullback, which is usually um, uh, um, uh, profit taking. And we trade the bounce and away we go. Not the breakout, we do at times, but usually we're going to get in down here. In fact, if you were to study, uh, like there's a company, a uh, prop, big prop, prop trading firm in uh, New York City called S&P Capital, and one of their top earners, I think he earns five or six mil a year now. I know you can't really live on that, but you can pay a few bills. Um, he, he trades uh, this exact strategy, waiting for the retracements, the deeper pullbacks, not the breakouts. He's, he's taking his first profit by the time he's got in here and he's back up to the high time frame. He's already taken half of his contracts off. And this is where we then get the divergence trades. And I'll be showing you a divergence trade I fired off just as I was getting ready today. So we want to be trading with the trend. So after 27 years, I've come up with a stack of, of strategies. I've got to say, most of them are not mine. Yes, I've looked at what, like the old floor traders uh, strategy for T25, for two to five candle pullback. I've just put my spin on it using my staff and myself. And so for T1, it's the super scalper. For, for T2 is the slingshot. For T20, you're going to see, and you're going to love in a minute when you see how a T20 and T20 dash one, they're all patterns. And yes, we use indicators for them. Okay, but a lot of them, well, when I say a lot, all of these ones here are all pri are really price action traders. So if you don't believe in indicators, that's fine, stick around because you don't have to use the indicators. But what's important when you look at this, yes, in my trading rooms, I teach traders all of these because we've got such a wide variety of traders. But initially you focus on your 2B and maybe a 34B and you build from there. You basically block your ears whenever I'm talking about something else, but you stay focused. Now, very quickly, I've already mentioned here um, uh, the, the pivot magnet trade, a trend following strategy. Uh, here we've got 
other members and I mentioned how really pivot trading is one of the best kept secrets. It's not really a secret. Just a lot of traders don't really know the best way to trade them. Pivots are fantastic for pivot magnet trades when you're selling or buying into a pivot, but there's some rules behind it. You get in too early and you'll be whipsawed out. You get in too late, you're gonna bounce. So there's a couple of rules that we use which increase our probabilities, but also pivot bounces with divergence or absolute killers. I've gotta be careful how I say that, but absolute money makers, when you've got divergence and a bounce off either, a pivot, an open high, low or close, and see this here, um, nearly every modern software platform will plot these automatically for you. Okay, and they're what we, and the reason they're predictive because so many pro traders trade them. And it's not like talking to you about bank levels and all that stuff. I don't understand that, okay? I can't see that. You know, where banks are going for levels, it's still so discretionary, but pivots, and please, if you can trade them, it's not an insult, by the way, there's more than one way of skinning the cat, but pivots, open, high, low, and close, and major EMAs, which I wanna show you soon, all kick butt because so many traders use them. All right, just once again, I'm just um, pivot magnet trades are just kicking butt. This is the 34B, now this is Ricardo. Um, you know, this is an 80% plus winning strategy. Now, Dave from Seattle, we've got a trader called Dave from Seattle. He specializes in two setups, and this is his chart, by the way, it's not mine. He specializes in the 34B and the 2Bs. They're his go-to trades. Okay, one member on the 30, up 75 ticks on the ES. Um, uh, look, I could just go on and on with these, but that's not, what I want to show you here, oh no, what I do want to show you is you can keep it simple and every one of these, that's a 34, that's a 2B, that's a 2B, 34, 34, 34, are mechanical rules-based entries. Now this is um, uh, my chart here. Remember a few minutes ago, I spoke to you about pivot magnet trades. Well, Pivots we also use, as I also mentioned, here is a pivot magnet trade, which I'll explain in a moment. And yes, we'll go to the live charts as well. I just want to let you know that. But down here, um, this is what we call a 1D T3. A T3 is very similar. If, you ever, if you're an experienced trader, ever looked at the charts where you get a really strong move, and it doesn't have to be over seconds, it can be sometimes be over an hour, and then you have a very deep pullback. Remember Newton's theory, where there's a reaction, there's an opposite and equal reaction, not necessarily true when it comes to trading, but not too far off it. Okay, so that's what we call a T3, and there are rules that we use to make it very mechanical. But here, we had a pivot bounce. See how we bounced off that pivot? So that was based on yesterday's price action. So then I took, traded that there, um, five ticks at $60 a contract on five lots on oil. Now up here, see that black line there? I've discovered on oil, there are four unique levels. One of them being round numbers, which is not new, 75, 76, 77, 78 a barrel, but they become pivot type magnets. So if you trade, whoops, and let me just turn my emails off. Sorry, everyone, just quickly turn that off. There we go. So if you trade oil, there's some critical levels that we bounce off. But up here, I traded, I had another T3, a bounce, and see that there, so that's a 200 EMA overshoot. Remember before I said to you that there are certain magic levels. Look over at your anchor chart. This is what we call an entry chart. This is an anchor chart. See how I'm bouncing off a downtrending. We call that a T12. There are two specific EMAs that you bounce off like that every single day. And I'll show you one, a reason I got out of a trade where we go to the live charts. 
um, just as, just before we started. So here I've got a bounce and this is an overshoot. Whenever we have an overshoot on an entry chart, we usually have a bounce or what we call a T12 on our higher time frame. The fact is this is this is a pattern that repeats every day. Now, here is a 2B by the way. That's a 2B pivot magnet trade. See how my pivot is down here. I'm trading with the trend. And here I have with as a concept uh, called front running. Front running is where you get out where everyone else is going to be getting out. You get out in front of them. Okay, so there I front run that by one tick. So there's these are all mechanical rules-based trading or trades. Now, just on this one here, I mentioned and I showed you Franz's PowerPoint and all he's doing is using uh, my T1. But as, as he says here, where is it here? It was up there one day, 142. Now as a brand new trader, uh, apologies for my poor, poor English, it's not my first language, is that where, where he talks about $50 a day easily with one micro, a micro contract is 10% of the big contracts. Okay, so that's 500 a day equivalent on a big contract. Okay, and all of these here are rules based, it's rules based trading. So let's go to the charts and let's have a look at a few things on the charts and see if we actually, we might even get a live trade or a couple. A couple of critical things that you've got to do every day is that um, we've got to practice what we call the fundamentals every day. Remember the great coach, uh, John Wooden, um, who I think had broken all the, the really winning all the awards when it comes to basketball players. He would say to his players, you've got to practice the fundamentals every day. Our fundamentals are checking regularly. Where are our pivots? Where are the prior days open, high, low and close? Where are our major EMAs? Because they act as support resistance levels and magnets. And where are the major swing high lows. Now, I've got some indicators on NinjaTrader and all of my indicators I give away free to my members, by the way. And I've got some there for, for uh, uh, M, what is it called, MP4? What is, what's it called? I'm <laughs> sorry, just um, uh, MT4. Uh, if I don't have an indicator, I'll tell you an alternative, how to set it up. Um, but if some platforms you don't have automated um, indicators like I might have on NinjaTrader, but they're still very easy to mark up. And there's a technique that we use as we go. So let's, so, so let's get to the charts, okay? So let me start with this back here. So just before we got underway, uh, the market opens, we're, we're in the market right now. If you're a new trader, you may not be aware of this, but right now the markets are open everything except the standard stock market. So come 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can start trading the, uh, it's called the Globex session. Now, during the Globex session, we don't have anywhere near the volume uh, that we've got when we're trading, say, during the New York hours. But if you've got a job, now is the ideal time or to be learning how to trade because the markets are ticking over much slower. You also uh, can have a news day trading margins. That is the excellent margins that uh, brokers give say on, for, on futures during the day actually carry over into the global session. But how it actually works is this. So if you're a swing trader, that is you're holding positions overnight. The brokers have what they call, and let me just show you this. They have, uh, come on, come up, there we go. Okay, so they've got what they call initial margins. So say if you were trading the ES, uh, there you've got to have a new hold, and say if you opened a, a position this morning, and you want to hold it overnight, you need to have a minimum of $11,500 in your account. Now that's going to vary per market you trade, like oil. 
down there, well at the moment I think it was about 8,000 is the overnight margin. So you can see here on the on the NASDAQ, why is it higher on the NASDAQ than the ES? They're very closely related. You've got greater volatility on the NASDAQ. Okay, now if you close, if you're a day trader or a scalper and if you close out any trades by 3.45 Central Standard Time, you don't have to have those margins, okay? The big margins, the maintenance margins, okay? You can trade using intraday margins. Not that we use those, we need to follow that rule. So we need substantially more, but you don't have to have these large margins to carry overnight positions. So the market now, and I won't go any further because we'll look at, I wanna teach you how to trade. So from here in a moment, we're going to go along and I'll show you exactly what you've got to master when it comes to day trading, okay? And the best, and I don't know whether I've got it on this, no, I don't think I put it on there. I look at it like a pilot that's flying an aircraft in the dark. He's got to read his instruments. That's what we've got to do. But let me show you a couple of things. So the market opened here at 1700 hours. So what's that? Uh, a couple of hours ago now. See those blue arrows there, they're called T20s. It's a rules-based setup, 100% rules-based. And I'm not gonna give you all the secret sauce. I'll teach you some secrets, but a couple of things there um, uh, I'll hold back, okay? but. I want you to know this, I had a T20, and these arrows plot automatically if, and I've got them coded for uh, TradeStation and NinjaTrader 8. By the way, I'm not recommending any platform or any broker, I'm neutral when it comes to that. But if so, you're using MP4, MT4, or any other platform, it's a simple rule, what causes that? Now, the first setup that sets up after that is called a T20-1. All that is, is the one just means a first setup. And there's a logic behind, a rule behind taking that trade. Now here, 23 minutes, or was that about 40 minutes before we got underway, I jumped in and I took this trade, okay? And this is what we call a T20-1. Now there, I ended up taking eight ticks out of this trade, but here is a valuable lesson. And you'll hear me regularly talk about uh, scalping, and excuse me, ladies, if I don't want to offend anyone, but I call it scalping the crap out of the market, okay? Um, getting in, getting out. And scalping, what's the difference between scalping and day trading? With scalping, we're after small profits and we don't trail. That is, we hit a target, we're out, looking for the next one, we hit it, we're out. Now, to be hitting that target of 200 a day, all I need on ES is three six tick trades a day. Now, even though we're on the micro, it's exactly the same thing, okay, except it's just 10% of the value. We just need three a day, six ticks. Now, at the moment, and you'll see why I emphasize that in a moment. Here, I've gone for eight ticks. Now, you would just need three six tick moves a day and you're wrapped up. Now, that is also a too big. Now, up here, this is a divergence trade I fired off. Now, I mentioned to you that you do not touch divergence until you really know what you're doing. But I'll tell you why this was a divergence trade and why we call it a 2D. So just here, traders, I've got, uh, on the left is what we call the entry chart. So this is my entry chart. On the right, this is called the anchor chart one. Now down here, by the way, and I'll just point, this is um, uh, called an overlay, just something I started to do recently because I couldn't really do it. Well, you could do it on TradeStation, that's not true, but, but um, uh, one of my members, Paul Smith, he trades the Euro and he put me on the something he was doing with the Euro and it works an absolute treat. But anyway, so actually, let me do this. Go back to the simple chart for a moment. Uh, no, I won't, I'll go back. Sorry, everyone, don't wanna confuse you here. I'll just stick with this one for a moment. 
sorry. Um, so a 2D, what makes this a 2D? When you've got double divergence, double divergence. Now here we can see we had a higher high on price. Here we had a lower high on price. Now that was back here. And if you're looking at both charts, this is what you would have seen. You would have seen, let me just make sure. Yes, that's it. So you would have seen you had a high high on price. The market had been open 25 minutes. And I looked over in the anchor chart and see that there. Remember I mentioned about my MACD platinum, which is this indicator here. Very simple once you understand how it works. High, high in price, I had divergence, I had divergence, okay? When we have a 2D, we target the 89 EMA and down we came and we hit it. But this is where now I want to explain something very important when it comes to scalping the market and particularly on the ES or gold or even CL. This trade came down and touched plus eight. My target was plus eight, but just because you hit plus eight, remember we're in a lineup of other traders. So here I only got, I went to break even plus two and it went up there. Yes, it did roll over. However, not to get out of that is a high risk trade. Okay, here if I could have easily got my six, there would have been six, it would have been wrapped up and in a moment you're gonna see would have hit my, another, my six in a moment. That would have been your 200 all wrapped up very quickly. But let me explain these again. See here the arrow, I had a T20. Here I had another pullback, T20-1. Again, T20-1, all of these are patterns. Now I took, I traded that T20-1 down into a 200. Remember I showed you that trade that was what we call a 200 overshoot. See this one just here, this is an overshoot again. And I mentioned to you a bounce on a higher time frame. We call that a T12. Look at this just here. Why this is important traders is this. So if you're looking at the charts themselves, price action would be coming down here to the chart there, coming down here and look how it found support at that level. Now, the reason this is important, this repeats every day, day in, day out. Hence, we've got names for it, 200 overshoot and a T12, okay? So it's just a mechanical setup that we see every day. Now, we will get to and see if we've got any setups in a moment. Now, what I just want to explain too is where would we enter? Where do we um, uh, put our stop? And where do we take profits as day traders? Well, if I enter a trade, okay, I want to, I would typically see the white paint bar, that's called my super scalper. That does not become a legit super scalper trade until the close of the third candle. Tick charts are included, whether you trade volume, it doesn't matter what type of chart you trade. And the reason I love Renko for new members, it smooths out price action. Now, see over here how we've had all of these red candles. See that? How do we know price is gonna spin on that 89? We wanna wait for that candle to close. Now that would not have closed until 12.50, which is one, what we call one tick above there, which is there, okay? Now we've got a little indicator that tells us if you've got NTO when that candle is going to close. So you can go and put what we call buy stops in the market. You can put an order in advance. But anyway, we would be in up here. My stop goes one tick or one pip if you're trading Forex below your swing low. Now, remember I mentioned key areas. We've got to know where our pivots are. 
where the open, high, low and close levels are and where our major EMAs are. So when we took this trade, when I take this trade, I know I've got a couple of challenges in front of me. Right here, I've got a 200 and over here, I've got the major EMA on my anchor chart two, I anchor chart one. Do you know what I'm expecting at those levels? A bounce. And that's exactly what happened. Now, in fact, I've got to tell you this. I hit plus seven, I went down to break even plus two, I got out, but then it actually come down and I would have got my plus eight if I had stayed with it. Likewise, if I stayed with that, I would have got my plus eight. But the problem is sometimes it we don't get that. Now, if you're scalping, and say if you're trading two contracts, I say to members, what you want to do is get your cash register ringing with your first lot of contracts. And, and if you're going to trail, trail the rest. Okay. Now, but just on that, um, John um, Grady wrote an excellent article in Active Magazine um, going back in 2009. And what he said was, a, was this. In many ways, we are scalpers, unless we're trailing, in and out, in and out. And as you can see there, we, when I say in and out, we've five, 10 minutes between each trade. But as he says is this, the scalper does not use a trailing stop. If, if he's fairly certain the move's over, he set in on a six tick winning trade, he sees no reason to risk three ticks to capture another unlikely three. He'll take his six tick profit. He can always buy again. And that's pretty much my attitude trade. This is it, get the cash register ringing, at least get my commissions. But if we were going for six ticks, which by the way, is a killer on this mark, six ticks work so well, going for six tick targets. But anyway, just here, we end up having this T12. Now, where's my target? Well, if you're scalping, you'd be after six to eight ticks. But for larger targets, there's a question we ask ourselves is, do I have blue sky ahead? And let me just pull this down here. And what I mean by blue sky ahead, here in selling there, we didn't. We had these major EMAs. But in going long here, I can see I'm above my EMAs. We then, there's no pivots in front of me, no major. We then look at prior swing highs. I can't plot a line there because this makes it go funny. But anyway, there's my last major swing high. So if you are going to trail, you've got a good reason for doing that. So anyway, up you go. Note your T20 just there. See how I had a T20 just there, but that's the blue arrow. See how it plotted again? It plotted back the other way and it plotted again. Now, um, I wish I could pull it up, but I can't. We've got um, a member um, in my trading room, uh, Tim, last night, as he said he got with his trend, it's called a trend continuation. See that one there? It's called a T20 trend continuation. He had four in a row last night. He just loves them. Very simple. Now that, oh, that's a trend continuation there as well. T20, T20, TC there. A mechanical setup with the trend, the kick, the kick spot. Now, uh, just here, that was a 2B. We're going to catch up with price action in a moment. Now we rally up and we've hit that. Now that 2B, and I know I've got members here. Why is that a 2B? Well, look, look over there, there's your 34, that's your 2B again. A mechanical entry based on trading with the trend. Oh, and of course that's a T20-1, by the way. See, we've got our T20, first retracement, T20, first retracement, and away we go. Now, let's do a bit of uh, catch up. And because there's so much I wanna actually, we'll close on this before I go any further, and we look at firing off some trades, I do need to show you a couple of things on other markets, which are very important. This here trade is, is called the HAR chart. If we've got any Forex traders here, the HA or, or Heikinashi charts, what I've got here is a combination I put together of Renko and the HA charts. 
the heart chart is a trading system or strategy within itself. So if you like Heikenashi, wait till you try the heart chart. But let's have a look at what we call the Texas T. Now, the Texas T, the black gold, CL, is $10 a tick. Now, on this market, we're trading, this is the what we call the Globex session, as you know. So generally speaking, in the last two years, it's been a little different because oil's been going crazy. But during after hours market, which we're now, we can usually trade what we call a two tick Renko, which is what this is. This is called a two tick Renko, okay? So after, when we say um, uh, during the New York hours, usually we're trading a four tick Renko because otherwise it's too fast. So each one of these steps, we call those steps on a two tick is worth 10 US dollars. Okay, they're worth 10 US dollars. These trades here is a setup that's been around for, for, for many, that's a 2B there by the way, and just the rules based plain vanilla 2B uh, and it's also a T20-1. The first setup after we change direction, we make a new higher high, that's a T20-1 and a 2B. These are called slingshots. Mechanical rules-based strategies, we, we're trading with the trend. What, what I was about to say is with CL, okay, a fantastic market. Um, and by the way, just while we're here, see that this is a 200 EMA just here. Now, this here is also a pivot. See that line just there? Oh, <laughs> and of course, that was, and this was actually a pivot magnet trade. See these here, these are there in advance. Remember the pivot magnet trades I mentioned to you, we're trading with the trend. Here we've got, we're trading with the trend straight into the pivot. Remember also, I told you that pivots are where we have our best divergence trades. Now, why is that a divergence trade? See down here, see how my MACD is making lower highs and see we made higher highs. That's a little double top. When you have divergence, and I don't want to get bogged down with this, we target the 89 VMA, which is back here. So this is oil. Now, during the Globex session, um, uh, there's just some fantastic opportunities and see how at the moment we're bouncing on that pivot just there. Now, what I've got down here in this lower window, I've got the indicators from my higher, see this is a pivot bounce, from the higher time frame superimposed on the bottom. What this enables me, what this tells me is, see that blue line trending down? That tells me that on my anchor chart, the trend is down. So, if I'm trading with the trend, I should be looking for short trades only. But I will talk about that when we go back to the micro ES. But just there, note how we've come down, back into the pivot and we're bouncing. But I just wanna show you one more thing and we'll go back and it's called gold, I think, which we've all heard of. Now, gold is can be a wild beast. We never ever trade gold around news announcements. And by the way, look at this pivot. See how we come up, we keep hitting the pivot. Oh, and here we've got down here, see this white line here? This is the prior day's close. So that's the prior day's close. See how we've gone up there, we've hit the pivot. I want you to notice here the trend. How do we identify the trend with any market? We look at our EMAs, what's the trend direction of our EMAs? See this orange background? That's called the cloud. All that is, is just the colored in between the moving averages. That's all that is. Now, 
That is what we could remember I mentioned to you about the T20 trend continuation trades. Geez, they're everywhere here. Now you would have been stopped on that one just there, but there you had one you were stopped. There you would have been in your stop losses up there. Then you had another one. Then you had another one. And by the way, these are also what we call 2B mechanical entries. That's a 2B. Each one of these steps is worth $10 also. So typically on this market, you're going to have an, uh, an $80 stop loss, which is what we call eight ticks, and a minimum target of eight ticks in profit. You only need three a day. The secret to trading is this. Looking at this chart, what's our trend direction? We are trending down. How do we tell? The fanning of the EMAs the fanning of the EMAs. Now, see where that says PP? That is the central pivot. And at the moment, if you're brand new to trading, you might be thinking, crumbs, right? I don't understand half of this. Traders, you'll have aha moments within days. Aha, now I get it. Because these plot automatically. And when I'm buying into this, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy because so many traders are trading down into that. So many traders are trading up into that. Now, what can you tell about the orange and the blue? I'm in a downtrend, so I sell into the pivot for a pivot magnet here. I buy into the pivot because I'm blue. I'm trading with the trend. But the point I wanted to bring out here with gold is the overnight margin on gold is $2,000. If you're trading gold anyway and using what we call an eight tick stop, what's 2% of $4,000? It's $80. So you need to have a $4,000 account anyway. We never, ever, ever risk any more than 2%, ever. Now, before we get back to the ES, I want to talk to you about the NQ, the NASDAQ. For NASDAQ, we used to call it the nasty NAS. I decided to reframe the, um, uh, I'm always telling members, mindset is everything. And so if you say the nasty NAS, what are you thinking? Oh, it must be a real, can I swear, bitch to trade. Right, it can be challenging but we now call it the nifty NAS. And the reason we call it the nifty NAS is it trends better than the ES overall, but it can be very whippy and you've got to really know your stuff with it, okay? Um, by the way, if you look back here, you should already be getting some of the rules here. See over here, now that's the market opened, but see that there, what is that there? A T20. So as you can see, T20 is tradable on their own. What's that one there? That is a 2B, but it's also what? A T20-1. We come back down here. What have I got just there? A little overshoot and a T20 again. That's called a trend continuation. Why? Because we bounced off the 200. Now on the big contract, when you look at this here, you think, um, you know, how's this work? Well. Each one of these steps here on the micro is worth $2. So that's like a $15, $16 move just there. On the big contract, which is 10 times the size there, $20 moves. And I just, I have to show you this. Do you understand the true potential of this? So there, if you're trading, um, and I'll show you this as well. So you just get an idea. And, and this is important when it comes to putting together your own trading plan. So here, when you trade the NASDAQ of all the micro, you're going to average between an eight and a 12 tick chart. What, why eight or 12? Members ask me all the time and, and the public ask me, what time frame should I trade? And I always say, whatever is tradable. And on the NASDAQ, you've got to have a higher time frame, eight to 12 ticks, we call it. 
Okay, so that's two to four, four points there. Now, what I've discovered traders is a formula. And I don't even know, I think it just come out of experience of the formula that we use with our entry chart to our anchor chart one and anchor chart two, there is a fractal based time frame. I don't want to get, it's so easy when you hear it, when I teach you, you go, wow, that's simple. But what it does, it gives us multiple EMA bounces on multiple time frames. So if you're bouncing on multiple time frames, what does that do to your trade? Increases the probability of a trade. Now, over here, 12 tick. Now, right now, you could easily be trading an eight tick, but usually you're going to be trading between an eight and a 12. So you need realistically $900. So if you've got a $900 account and easily you're going to easily get $40 a day, look where you are in 22 weeks, potentially at 10, 12 grand a week and only $40 a day. Now, that move is a $20 move there alone. So how do we maximize and get the larger moves? Your T20 trend continuations and what we call the two Bs. They're going to give you your larger moves and staying with the trend. Now, looking at this just here, and there's another T trend continuation there, right there. Here, and this is where divergence trading can be tricky. You had various trades here, you started to get divergence set up, but if you entered those, you would have been stopped. So one other thing when you trade divergence traders is this, do you have angulation? No angulation, which I won't go into now, means no divergence. But anyway, let's get back to the ES and let's look and see if we can get some charts, some trades. Now, first of all, look down here. See this indicator here, this black one here? This is telling me that on my anchor chart one, I've got a great uptrend. So do you know what sort of trades we're looking for right now? We are looking for long trades. We're looking for trades to the long side. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So you'd want to go long right there. Now remember, you're after between six and eight ticks. Now that there was a 2B. Remember, there's one setup that I'd recommend that you focus and specialize in. Uh, just want to make sure that is a 2B. What time was that? That was at uh, 6.33, yes, that was a 2B just there. This one is a 2B. Look at the move. Now there you would not have been in till there. One, two, three, four, six. Now, little thing when you trade, if you must always, if ever you're testing a strategy, and say if I say to you, you go for six ticks and you decide to go back and back test it, you must always allow to tick through, it's called ticking through by one tick, because just because you hit your target does not mean you were filled on that target. So what we're about to do now, we're pretty much, we're almost, so just from here on in, let's just start to, um, I'll read from the right hand side and we'll catch up to where price is and let's look for some trades. So first of all, right here, See that there to there? Make sure I've got the right time. That's at 16.52. Now we're right on that, there to there. This is called a 2D. I've got a higher high in price, a lower high. Look at my MACD on my anchor chart one. New traders, don't even worry about these initially. The, your divergence trades are harder to read. I just wanna point this out for the experienced members in the room. When we have a 2D, we expect to bounce off the 89, and this is what we call traders a 2BD. Whoops, I'm gonna have to turn that off. A 2BD is very simply 
a 2B like we had there and we had there, both would have been winners and very mechanical in their nature. Okay, and the great thing about a 2B, uh, it takes a longer time period to set up, so you've got plenty of time. Now here, I'm not gonna take the 2BD. 2BDs are a lower probability trade. Okay, so let's just start to see where this goes. Okay, all right, so for the experienced members in the room, we've got a T10 just there. This is also, and I think some of you are starting to get the picture on this, this is also a T20-1. Here's my T20, price has come down and now I've hooked over. Well, why, what's the difference between this one, okay, and that one? Well, here I've got my super scalper has plotted telling me that I've got a T20, just, just there. Okay, so it's plotted the super scalper. Here I don't have the super scalper. Now, on the, this trade, remember with every entry, so let's just say we're entering on the close, let's be conservative, a fourth candle. Where's my stop go, my stop loss? My stop loss goes one tick above. Where's my target? Remember with any trade we say, do I have blue sky ahead? Hell no. Look what I've got down here and look what I've got down here. I've got EMAs all in front of me. So do you know what usually happens? I think you know what happens traders. We usually bounce off those or find support. Now we can still trade that because that is a three, uh, that's a two point move from there down to there. That is what we call eight ticks. What have I got set up on my dome as a target? Eight ticks. Now I can't trade this one because it's already happened. But down here, <clears throat> this qualifies. Now, what if my entry was here? Say if we had a tick down and now I have an entry here, I wouldn't take it. Why? Good probability I may bounce off it. But here, I've got plenty of room from there to there. Very simple concept. Between the cyan and the purple, do I have enough room to take a profit? Well, let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, there we're easily going through it. Now, here we would have taken a profit on that on a mechanical T20 1. Now, what I want you to notice here is it might be hard for you to see there. There is what we call a tail, a Renko tail. See that? If you can see, I don't know if you can see it, a little black line, that would have looked like we were going to reverse, guess what, off that point. We then punch through. So what I've got just here, and let me tell you if I get a trade entry here, we're coming down. What I'm looking for here, traders, for me to go long, I need a green candle. That's what I want to see. Where's my first green candle? My first green candle there was at 1908. Not yet. 1908. Because remember, see here, we had all of these red candles. Remember what our tr number one trading rule is? Well, one of them. After we have red candles and we want to go against those, we must wait for the anchor chart one candle to close. That's what that does. It's a simple rule. Whenever you have a deep pullback and you want to trade with the trend, and let me expand this for a moment, what's the direction of our trend at the moment? Traders, we're in an uptrend. So after all of these red candles, I want to wait for that to close. Now by waiting for that to close, that actually stopped us from taking this trade, which we would have been stopped on. See that there? It's hard for you to see there, but right there is a Renko tail. That would have looked like a signal to go long. It's hard for you to see that would have looked green, but then it reversed. It did not close. And I'll show you a little tool in a moment that tells you 
when it's going to close. Otherwise, if you don't, if you're using TradeStation or um, MT4 or Sierra charts, you simply just use a market order once it closes, okay? Or you can also use a limit order, of course. So that kept me out of that potential losing trade. Now, this is turning into what we call a 200 EMA overshoot again. And look what else we've got. Remember way back when we first started, we had a bounce just here. We've got another one. We call this a T12. Just a simple concept of a higher time frame EMA bounce. Now, where's my entry? Now, my entry is not going to be until 1750, which is a bit up here. So I want to walk you through these. So 1750 is there. Where's my stop loss going to go? Ideally, one tick below, ideally. In a fast market sometimes, if you didn't use a buy stop there to get in, what can actually happen traders is that it can take off and price might be up here somewhere. I don't want to make my stop loss. I've got fixed rules on what size stop loss we've got. Now, note up here, see the blue arrow, our T20. Because price action is rallied back up and you can see the T20 just here again, you've also got a T20 pointing back the other way. And that is what we call a T20 trend continuation. We ducked under the 200. So a quick rule for you, you might want to write this down. Whenever price action is under the 200 EMA, we are generally looking for short trades. When price action is above 200 EMA, we have a long bias in the market. So I've got two entry possibilities here. One, I'm in here. And the second one is I enter on the T20 trend continuation just there, which is once again, a mechanical rule. So what are we after? Well, realistically, if we were trading a big contract, I would be saying take six ticks out of the market and then maybe go for your eight to 10 ticks thereafter. So let's just see how we go. So that would be two, we're already up. Three, four, five, six. Now there we touched seven. We touched seven ticks at that stage. So we use, once again, like those other three trades, we well, one of them I picked the full eight, and, they, and two of them, they still would have delivered the eight, but you might've been a bit sweaty. So you can see how well on the big contract or on the micro six tick works. Now, I want you, before we go any further, I want you to look at this. What's our trend direction? We're in an uptrend, very clearly in an uptrend. On top of that, I can look down here, and this is telling me I'm going a bit sideways at the moment, but I'm still gonna look for what we call a long trade. Now, this is this here. I wanna see what happened, because we'd be out of this. Okay, so what happens here now, and normally you'd be looking at price section right now just there now at remember I'm waiting for the candle to close again now just here at um, 921 which is where's that I'm just looking down the bottom so 921 we now get another potential entry but traders we no longer qualifies. Why is that? Why don't we want to take this trade now? As soon as you start to see your moving averages move sideways like this, no more trades. If we had, now just there for those that are members, you know that was a slingshot by the way. So you could, and see that tail just there. So I, I will give you all another little trade secret here. Remember before I said, whenever you have reversal candles, I recommend, uh, particularly after a deep pullback, you wait for the candle to close back in the direction of the trade. There is an exception to the rule. 
see in this case how we had one, two, three, four green candles just there. See this candle, see it would have looked like it was gonna close red, see that tail? But because the prior candles were all green and here I'm looking at trading with the trend, I don't have to wait for the candle to close. And once you see it in action, it's very easy. But once we start to go sideways like this, in fact, here we've got a lower high, but I'll, I'll tell you what's happening here in a moment. Uh, we've got to be very, very cautious. And there's something here also. What can I tell you about these? This bottom line here is a long-term stochastic. It happens to be the long-term stochastic from the anchor chart. See that just there. When your long-term stochastic is oversold like this, and I'll talk about this, you, you get in a bounce, but I'm still not gonna take it yet. That means you're looking for short trades, generally speaking. But we've got a very simple rule. And with this one here, this is one of the EMAs from, it's actually a 21 period from my anchor chart. If the 21 EMA does not confirm the trend, we don't take the trade. So in other words, we've got so many conflicting things here. And even though we're getting a breakout here, I'm not interested. Now, look at this just here. In fact, we could have entered just there. I think we had a candle close on the anchor chart. We did too. See that one there? And we would have been stopped on that trade. So now we've got another one setting up here. It's just bounced up. Now remember, we would not be in until the candle closed there, which wouldn't put us in until 1850, which is there. And see that there, one, two, three, it only touched four. See how it's already retracing? We are trend traders. If we don't have a trend, we do not trade like here right now I can't trade this I do not have a trend so what will help us identify a trend this here is what we call a trading range and what we want to look for see that there to there let me perhaps mark that up for you from there to there that's called a lower high see that down here this is called a lower low Lower highs and lower lows are the footprints to a trend. But here, straight after, if we had a new lower low set in, if price come down, we would start thinking, sure, let's sell. But because this is now popped back up here, and look at this, see how we're just popping around here? We could go long, it could go short. This is where we learn to set this out. We already would have wrapped up our trading with our two Bs anyway. Look at the trend. Why trade flat zones when you've got this fires off? And if you go to most markets, you'll see, look at this on CL. Uh, there's your pivot bounce, but then finally we punch through. Here is your pivot magnet. Look what happened down here. We broke through the 200. Oh. Look what we're bouncing off traders. And look what I've got here. I've got a pivot magnet trade straight into the pivot. I've got a double bottom with divergence. Okay, uh, the screen's not updating. Uh, is that everyone else having that issue at all? Um, it should be updating. I, I just noticed your comment there. Uh, is everyone, is it updating for everyone else? Let me just see, it might, might um, uh, Rob, Roberto just said, yes, Peter, I'm good, said Jerry, thank you. So everyone else is saying it's working as well, I get it, mate, uh, it's okay. Yeah, so uh, there it is there. So up here, what are the rules for a pivot magnet trade? You've got to be with the trend. Now that one there was a dicey one. Why? We were blue just beforehand, even though we sold into the pivot, 
wasn't a golden pivot magnet trade. This one is. And remember I mentioned your best divergence trades. If you're ever going to trade divergence, a what? Where? Off your pivot and see your divergence. Now, by the way, our target here, I'll tell you what it is. The 89 would be our first target up here. So let's just see for a moment what happened. Now I'm not set up to fire off a trade on CL. I don't have it set up here, but let's just see if we get, it pulls back. Um, so just see, we've got a double bottom. And this is not my CL. I just set this up before for demo purposes for you. So usually we would find resistance here at, up here or at the pivot. So let's just see what happens here. Now, each one of these is 10 ticks. Uh, here, we've got, um, and for existing members in the room, and once again, welcome. So traders, we got this, this saying, five by five, yes I can, three by eight, yes I can. What the hell does that mean? It's a mantra we've got. When we have a 2B, we go for eight, it's called eight ticks, larger moves. When we've just got, say, a 34B, we're going for um, five to six ticks, scalps. That's $50 to $60, where we're going for $80 as a minimum on these. So this is a double bottom, eight tick trade. Now, see how we've come up to 89 and see, oh, and by the way, there's that indicator I was telling you about. So this indicator tells me where this candle, well, technically it's a Renko brick, but I call them candles, where this is going to close. So that tells me for a new brick, if I wanted to sell here, I could go and put a sell stop order in. Okay, very good, thanks Roberto. So I could put a sell stop order in if I was ready to sell down here to be stopped into the trade. Now this doesn't qualify yet anyway. So traders, um, look, I won't keep going here, but there is another 200 overshoot. And let me show you this. See this overshoot here? I want you to look at, this is a two tick. Let me show you the four tick. Remember this one. Here's a four tick. Look at it, there it is again. Make sure I got the right 925. There it is again. 200 overshoot and a bounce off your anchor chart two again. Now with this 6E, each one of these steps here is worth 625 per tick. That's a 2B, that's a 2B. Uh, now, realistically, uh, once I hit here, I'm not gonna trade until here, why? Here we are, we're sideways. We're gonna sit on our hands, traders. Now, I form a new higher high, I get a new higher low, we can now take that trade. Some very simple rules that we follow traders that keep us on the right side of the ledger. So let's get back to this for a moment. So what I've just shown you really is that we, if we didn't have a lot of, and even now we, the, uh, the ES is just totally sideways at the moment. So that market we were going to be trading, just to show you this here again, where are we here? Just to show you. Uh, where is it? Oh, that's the four tick. We want the two tick. There it is there. So we just start sideways at the moment. So this could be, and this is where patience comes in. We could be here for an hour waiting for a breakout, but this is where traders blow their accounts. They just are not willing to, to be patient here. So back onto this and let's get this wrapped up for you. Uh, so where to from here? So I think you can probably see traders, I've got a huge amount of knowledge and experience here. I know how to trade. I can save you years and I can also teach you for less than a dollar five an hour how to do this. So let me explain. So first of all, very quickly, I don't, I don't ask for testimonials. These are comments directly off the chat box in my rooms. Uh, love it, 200 per day, you're so right. Double my account, thank you Ray, good stuff. Another excellent, this is just um, uh, chat from the chat box. 
Uh, this is actually one of my traders called Bougie Trader out of Canada. Uh, and this is, he's still in my room today. And by the way, I've got traders that have been with me in my rooms for five years. Why? You're always learning. And even the full-time traders, it keeps them up to date. Okay, uh, here, um, uh, 20, I've studied numerous 50 plus teachers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amanda is in my rooms. Okay, amazing. Anyway, I, look, I could just keep showing you these here. 550 on one contract using two Bs, 34 Bs and slingshots. Uh, reaffirm about this. Oh, now this is another one from Professor Ali. I talked to traders about decision fatigue. Decision fatigue is another thing that comes when we're in front. Last five days went at a 90% win rate, by the way. That's not bad, is it? That's just 34 Bs and two Bs, sometimes T28s. Now, decision fatigue is where we spend too much time in front of the screen. You've got to have a break. Just screenshots from members. Okay, just I can just show you one after another. So, moving on. What's the cost, what's the fastest, the most cost effective way to master this traders? It's called my inner circle program. Now, first of all, this is especially essential that new traders understand this here. Learning how to day trade initially can be a bit like drinking out of a fire hose, okay? My job's to make it as simple as possible. And that's why I've structured my program the way that I do it. That is, you use my Day Traders Fast Track program. If you're already a member, you've already got that. Excuse me one moment. But then I've also got twice a week, I run two two-hour private group coaching sessions. Twice a week, that's 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Eastern Standard Time. If you can't make it, they are recorded. And in those sessions, rather than focus on live trading, I'm teaching you step by step exactly what I'm looking for, reading from the right hand side of the chart, what every setup is, etc., as well as psychology and a whole lot of other things. But then three times a week, I've got then my live trading room sessions. Now, those sessions are early for in the US. For an example, this week, they're from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And alternative it weeks, they're 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. They're early because that's my evening time and I no longer want to stay up all night. I'm still down here in Australia. Okay, so we've got two two-hour sessions that are that are, that are uh, recorded and so are the live trading room sessions. Now, in the three parts, what do you get with it? Well, the Day Traders Fast Track program is basically, um, you name it, it's got it. As members describe it as a gold mine. Okay, so if you were to look at them in the members area, this is the members area here. Uh, you can go in like NC8 indicators. There are literally dozens of indicators there. I don't charge for any of the indicators. Whoops, we'll just, sorry, we'll just go back to that there. There's um, sessions there on MACDs, indicators, uh, all of the handouts, there's hundreds of them, okay? And if I scroll down here, there's over 40 PowerPoints now uh, in my program. And once again, don't feel overwhelmed because I walk you through it and teach you how to learn my setups. But in the program, this is a $10,000 plus program, okay? It's because everything is there. Um, all of the setups you learn. And as I keep reinforcing, you start with only one or two. I teach you those one or two. We learn in the coaching sessions which are the best time frames, the best time of day, the best indicators. What if you're not using NinjaTrader? What if you're not using TradeStation? So I teach you how to set up your charts. I've even hired a hypnotherapist to record hypnotherapy sessions for my members. I've got uh, trading psychology webinars. I've got NLP webinars I've run. A lot of stuff on head stuff. Uh, mention the hypnotherapy sessions. There are over 200 videos. And the great news is 
uh, you don't have to watch them all. Um, uh, yes, you will get sick of my voice, but there are over 200 training videos. There are hundreds of marked up charts with my commentary. Okay, the Google Drive, I've already just quickly shown you, there's a gold mine in that. Now, uh, here panned out, so just what uh, I mentioned is now over 40 PowerPoints with the strategies, handouts on scalping. I love scalping, okay? Now, there's reference cheats, there's cheat sheets, etc. cetera. Uh, there's the spreadsheets that we've already, these alone, I would say are worth hundreds of dollars really when you understand how to use them. And not only, but there's also one, how many trades a day do you need to take based upon your win-loss ratios and your daily target? This is all part of creating your trading plan. You've got to know your stuff. And when you've got a plan, traders, when you've got a big enough why you want this, the how will appear. I've got the how, but we create a trading plan with realistic targets. Then you know how many trades a day you need to be taking. Now here, the next step is winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do. And what that means is you've got to become a student of the market. And that's where my coaching sessions come in. You've got to, you know, people think you just go and buy a book or watch a YouTube video and that makes you a day trader. Remember, we're, we're trading against some of the smartest people that have devoted their life to day trading. We've got to beat them. Now, it's not about intellect. It's about having something better, something that gives us the edge in the market. This takes some time. I'm still amazed by so many traders. They, they'll think nothing of blowing one, two, five thousand dollars in their trading account, yet they won't invest a couple of hundred dollars in their education. I still get amazed by it. So for over, it's actually six years now, I've been running these sessions. And so, um, um, and you have permanent access to any that you are entitled to there. So here, we're, we're now in October. Okay, so there we have handouts in those sessions. Whoops, that's a repeat there. Oh well. Uh, so here we've got um, uh, each one you get handouts. So this is like logging into one of the sessions. Uh, actually, let me just quickly show you, if I may, it's nothing like seeing it. So if we go into the coaching, so we're in October now. So in the session one folder, well actually tomorrow is session three. So here are the handouts in the session three folder. And some of these, we, we don't, we never ever get through them. So my job, I just don't give you like a couple of different, like here's Dave from Seattle, one of our traders who trades the two Bs and 34 Bs. This might open now, actually go to webinar slows right down. I won't open it now. But, and I, I'll mention other members provide how they're trading and what they're doing. And that we share that with members. Uh, your 200 EMA overshoot, which we've been talking about, kicks butt. So in these sessions, you're getting PowerPoints and handouts, etc. Once again, if you're a new trader, don't feel overwhelmed because I'm showing you where to start. And you might say, oh, that's interesting. I'll take Ray's advice. I'll study that once I get the two Bs down. But there we discuss, we discuss best time frames, best time of day, etc., etc. We cover so many different topics in those. And then finally, the third part of the equation is the live trading room. This is where the rubber meets the road. For an example, this is where we'd be looking at the trades. And if we look at what's just happening here, let's just check out the, now, since we've been chatting here, look at this. Remember I mentioned to you, we wanna set in a new, lower low, we've now set that new lower low in. But imagine if we had have taken this trade, we wouldn't have hit our target here, okay? So this is where by watching, so this here is a T20-1, just here. It's also a slingshot trade. So we'll see whether it, that, whether it will follow through or not. It's always a pain when you're looking just at short-term trading. We still got a bit of a range here, but we've got a bias to the short side right now. Okay, so we'd be looking for short trades right now. 
but watching this for two hours live with me as I take trades and as I take uh, and set these up, you, you can't beat that because you're able to also, well, the only thing is if, <laughs> if you're sitting down next to me, I'm teaching you one-on-one, -on -one, but here you're watching me trade. So I explain where to answer, where to place your stop. The sessions are also recorded like trade one, uh, trade two, uh, trade three. So we're chatting away and I'm explaining, you know, where the rubber meets the road, why that's a 2B, why that's a 3B, etc. So you learn, and all of the, and that was a 2D by the way. The only thing is in the room, I do not trade divergence. And the reason I do not trade divergence in the room is I do not want members trading divergence until they've mastered trading with a trend. I point them out, but I won't fire off live trades because they just, you know, <laughs> uh, you just want to stand away from trading divergence initially. But as I say here, anyone can read a book or watch a video, but it's about what really lead, watching it um, firsthand. Okay, um, short on that 21B. Thanks, a nice little profit on the two Bs. Four wins, four sessions within an hour. Okay, uh, and that, this is April. As she said, I don't charge enough. Okay, and a number of our members will, will say that. So what's your investment to get underway? And I've got a, if you're a brand new trader, I've got something you just can't resist here. Number one, if you go to my website, the Day Traders Fast Track program is only $197, in just massive value. Why so inexpensive? Because I know a lot of members will then attend my coaching. And that's where my coaching here is, $197 a month. So under this, what I've got here, I'm showing you here, is I give you my program plus six months in the coaching session. You're in there, that's $1,182. Stay around, I haven't finished yet. Then I've got six months in the live trading room. That's 12 sessions a month. There I'm explaining as the strategy set up in real time. 197 a month, that is 1182. What are the times I've already mentioned? Every second week, four and the six, even if you can't attend, you watch the recordings in five to seven thereafter. So what I will do is I've got, I'll give you a bonus if you join six months. So in other words, for $497, I will give you the Day Traders Fast Track program, 12 months in my live trading room, 12 sessions a month, 12 months in my coaching room, eight sessions a month, plus, oops, and that should be 197 a month, there's a typo, typo there, but never mind. Uh, here, plus I'll give you the last 12 months of recorded coaching sessions. I said you're going to get sick of me. Now, that's less than $2.10, half a cup of coffee for every live two hour session. Now, if you're already a member of the Day Traders Fast Track program, and don't go yet because I've got some more to show you here, is you'll save $100. So it's only $3.97 for everything you've got. Now, if you say invested in the program two or three years ago, I would get the, you can just let me know and I'll give you all the latest resources because there's some additional videos, uh, introduction videos, where to start from. So if you've had the program for say more than 12 months, let me know and we'll automatically update you with that as well. But it's only 397 saving you 4,000 off the website. That's less than a dollar 66 for every two hour session. So if you're still not sure if this is for you. So for $99, I will give you one month's access to the coaching room, one month's access to the live trading room and the Day Traders Fast Track program for $99. Now, after that one month, you can then upgrade to the six month 
Inner Circle membership for only $3.97. So what that effectively means is you would fork out that and that is optional. Your investment would be $496 for a seventh month membership where for those that sign up today for $4.97, it's for 12 months. So an extra five months plus they get the links, which you don't get and you only get seven months to the, of course, I want to incentivize you here to sign up. So you get a full 12 months and 12 months of the recordings. Seven months compared to, so this it's nearly double the value, but maybe you're lacking your finances right now, or you're really not sure, but if you've got the investment, basically you get for 497 a full year, permanent access to the Day Traders Fast Track program and all of the indicators. Now to join in the go to webinar, you can download, there's two PDFs there, not just one, there's two. There's uh, uh, three links, one to join for the $99, one there to join for existing members. Maybe you've got to be an existing member. And um, if you've bought the program some time ago and you're an existing member, once again, um, drop me an email, trader at imadaytrader.com. Most of you will have my email address so I can send you the updated program, okay? Um, just got some additional videos there. So you can join using the link. We'll also be emailing out this recording and the links for traders, come and join me. If you wanna truly master the art of day trading, no matter which market you trade, you may decide that futures are not for you. Futures I love, and most of you are aware I used to trade Forex full time. Now it's futures, why? Because it's a fairer market, open 23 hours a day, the commissions are fantastic, and, and they trend beautifully. I mean, look at this right now, look at this on oil. Let me just show you this. And this is what you want traders in a market, okay? That there, where did I say price would go? Remember what I said about this and look what's happened. There was your pivot magnet. There was your double bottom divergence off the pivot and there is your 2B there. So I'm gonna teach you traders, how you trade these, these are all patterns. And every time you're coming down to a pivot, guess what? Or every time we've, we've got divergence. So traders, I'd like to thank you very much for coming. So better still come and join me. Let me teach you how to do this. Once again, all of the spreadsheets uh, are included. Um, I've already mentioned this, there's just you know a ton of resources that you're getting, every tool you need. So traders, um, uh, please download the links and I look forward to seeing you in the coaching sessions uh, within the next, well, who knows, you might be in the one tonight. So thanks traders, we're in the morning. Uh, thanks very much. Cheers everyone. Uh, thanks Peter, thank you. Uh, yes, and as I say, it is incredible, but you know what, I've got a lot of members. So, and I don't have a heap of staff. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks, cheers. Thanks, Jerry.